see while that's going I've already um, extracted a file called songs.dtb and that's located in config slash gen and I'll show you where that is in a second when we uh, re-import it so double click on and this is the Guitar Hero 2 DTB editor version 1 um, done by Nachos, I don't know how to say his name um, so here you got a list of all the songs again now we did bathroom wall so I'm going to expand that node and we have name, artist, song, and tempo, etc. Uh, we're going to want to change name and artist. Um, this, to go open it up in the DTB editor, is only necessary when editing the Guitar Hero 80s archive because the name editor does not open up the uh, songs.dtb correctly. So you have to actually change it. So here I've got, uh, it says Wicked by Symphony X, so I'm going to change that to Learning to Live for the name under the name node and then for Symphony X I'm going to change to Dream Theater alright so we got that saved now what I told you earlier was that we wanted to make the uh, make it so you can hammer on eighth notes so that's not very tough uh, what you're going to want to do is you want to expand the song node and you get name, tracks, pans, vols, chords, and MIDI file um, you want to click the MIDI file node, don't expand it though, and you want to hit this insert button here. And it will come up with an insert chunk dialog, and you want to hit insert after, and then for the chunk, you'll say node common 16, and the data ID is data ID number of the MIDI file plus 1. So the data ID here is 268, so you want to say 269, and then you press OK. And so it'll insert a node here. It says 269. Um, you want to um, select this node and click insert again. And you're going to want to say insert undercurrent and say keyword 5 for the chunk. And the data ID is going to be H O P O HOPO underscore thresh T H R E S H O L D for those of you who can't spell. And you want to click all right. Now it's going to change the name of this node here and it's also going to give you a keyword down here. It's going to tell you, okay, I have a HOPO threshold that's going to be different. Um, that's what's telling the game. Now you're going to want to keep that HOPO threshold selected and press insert again. And you want to say insert after and you want to do the chunk type is an integer and you want to type 250. And that is basically just saying, all right, that's an eighth note to the game. Um, I guess 2000 is a measure. So it'll insert and then you got the, it right here. Um, and then you're gonna say alright and then it's all fixed. This this song now has the ho hammer on pull off threshold changed. So you're gonna want, you can redo the nose, whatever you like, but you want to make sure you say save. That's the most important part. Alright so Guitar Hero Explorer is all done importing the song and let's check the sync again so it's gonna go through alright now you can see the notes are going along with the, the music so we know that's good so that that chart is completely synced now we're gonna go pull out and we're gonna wanna go to config gen scroll down to songs.dtb now I don't know where this was saved um, okay this is saved under so we'll do right click on songs replace now mine's at the desktop rebuilt arc extracted files songs now you can extract it anywhere you want really um, just as long as you know where it is um, and so it's not going to give you a preview for this but basically what it did is it, it told the game hey this song has a hammer on pull off threshold that's different than the rest and so the um, s the game will automatically recognize that the only issue is it doesn't show that in Guitar Hero Explorer um, but really that's not that big of a deal because you know you replaced it and it would probably like corrupt your archive if and you did it incorrectly and it'll say this is bad and then you have to start over 
Um, but if you follow what I did, it's not that tough, and that should that definitely works. I've I can vouch for it. I've done a couple custom discs, so that's basic. Those are the basics for what you want to do. Um, once you're all done, you can do a lot of editing of um, other things like uh, locale.dtb. This holds a lot of the um, the like the um, sorry the store uh, descriptions or the guitar names or uh, say you wanted to edit the tier names or loading screens or anything really um, it, it's definitely a good thing you want to edit if you want to work on um, some more uh, more intricate stuff so hope that was helpful um, leave comments if you have questions uh, I'll be more than happy to answer them but um, if you want to know the rest about importing stuff into Guitar Hero make sure you head over to scorehero.com um, you want to register at the forums and then you can download the custom songs for free um, there's plenty of guides and if you want to make your own custom songs there's guides for that too so hopefully this was helpful um, again comments are helpful if I mean if you want if you have a question just send me a comment and if you are confused on another part of editing um, send me a comment or a PM and I'll try to get a tutorial up on that so thanks for watching